when I first started dressing up in drag, I didn't really see it the way that I see it now. I actually was, was really shocked with the actual overall transformation. I definitely watched a lot of you know, tutorials on how to really change shapes and things like that. And what I did then was really a wow for me. The transformations that I'm able to make now, there's no feeling to explain that just because of the fact that you are able to really become anybody and anything that you would like. I am Josh Lucero. I am a makeup artist by day and a drag queen by night. My illusion name is Janessa B. Fierce. I definitely believe that drag is an art form. Your creativity is unlimited with it. I find a lot of people are able to really express themselves through this type of art. There's so much that a lot of people don't really acknowledge. People don't notice it on a day-to-day -day basis. You don't understand the width between your arm and your wrist and the shoulders to the hips. You don't really acknowledge those things in life and those are the things that people are drawn to and that's something as a drag artist you have to pay attention to and see. I really play with the makeup part. That's one of my favorite things about the actual art. Really learning how to shape and create shadows that really aren't there. Um, really changing every dimension of the face possible with just makeup. And I have learned tons of different techniques and I've tried really great things and I've tried really bad things. Still every day I try something different. It's my passion to really do my makeup and that is where I find my art and drag. No one's going to be perfect at the art because there's really no limitation to the art. Everybody has room to grow. There's so many people in the house tonight, it's hard to hear the music, but that's okay. It was rocking out there. Are y'all having a good time? I don't know if there is a correct word, a correct feeling, or any type of emotion to explain the type of adrenaline that you get when you're on stage. It's an out-of-body experience. You are portraying somebody completely who you're not on a daily basis and people are responding to you and reacting in a whole different way that really there's no way to explain the emotion and the feeling that you get when you're actually on stage entertaining. I think Denver has been arms wide open for our drag scene. It's very interesting to me to know that there are not only gay men that enjoy the art of drag. I even know some, some individuals that are married and they're married to women. They have children and it's just something that they enjoy doing. It's, it's a, a fun thing for them. So definitely again the art can go really in any direction. We also have tons of friends that do drag kings which are going to be your females that actually give the male illusion. If I could say one thing to anybody that is inspired or even wanting to do drag, even just if it was for one time, do it. Nothing in life is going to stop you from doing something and if you don't love it, then you don't ever have to do it again. But if you do love it, think of what can happen and think of the person that you could become. You might be somebody totally different than who you ever thought you were.